I wonder where my Ochin Grisidian Le Bouf is hiding. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Is that her? Is that her? Hold on a minute. That's Ochin Grisidian Le Bouf. Well, hello and welcome back. And thank you for coming back today. Well, we're in downtown Cato Paphos. And while well, Ms. Ochin Grisidian Le Bouf was hiding amongst some jewels, as we can see, and now she's gone and found some more. What have you got to say, Grisidian Le Bouf? Hello, Elbouf? everybody. Hello. How nice. To see you again, and again, and and again. again. There we go. Right, come on, Rosie Bella Booth. Let's get down the Cape of Paphos Promenade Parasailing. the right Parasailing. way. Oh, man, there's parasailing, parasailing, parasailing. In fact, there's a whole lot of parasailing, parasailing. I know there's a contraption in front of us, but hopefully just between all the slats and the bits and bobs, you can see that there is a red parachute and there is a yellow parachute. So that means, well, it means the Paphos Water Sports and Boat Trips, they're the yellow one, and then the red one, that belongs to Nick's Water Sports. Two great, great outfits who take safety very, very seriously. And we know a lot of people who've been with both those companies, and they all come back and say that it was absolutely spectacular. And one of our super, super, superheroes, Tony Nankara and his beautiful wife, Miss Wendy, they went up. She was shy, shy, shy for years. This year she went up, said she had the time of her life. And I want to say to you, Tony, we wish Wendy all the luck in the world. She's a little bit sick at the moment. But we hope she can come back fighting wham, on Monday or Tuesday, that's for sure. See that? I wish all the people, whoever feel a bit poorly, a little bit on uh, soil or whatever, I wish all the best and the best recovering as soon as possible. And there's also someone else I'd like to reach out to and send a bit of love. Um, oh, so, 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 so sweet Caroline. We understand that you'll be watching this on the Sunday evening and hopefully we can get through to you and hopefully we can say that we wish you the greatest calmness of the day on Monday and we hope everything goes super super smooth and we hope that your rock Mr Nigel Big Guns will be there to help you and we understand that Miss Ellie will be there to help as well and we want you to know that we are with you I am with you and Mr Chingra CV on the booth is with you as well yes that's for sure so Thanks very much, and we wish you all the love and the luck in the world. Now, back to the para, 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 para sailing. There we go. There we go. So, the yellow one, as I've said, that's the Paphos Water Sports and Boat Trips. They operate to the rear of, should we say, the Annabellish Hotel. And then the red one is the Nick's Water Sports, and they operate to the rear of the Olympic Lagoon Hotel. Both great guys. Uh, great operations and they don't just do power stone, they do boat ride, pedal boats, canoeing, you name it, they do it and they are very very nice guys indeed and the price is quite reasonable. Perhaps if you mention Marika and me you may even get a slight discount off Mr. Abraham or Nick from Nick's Water Sports. We'll see the Alabu. Nice. Yeah, very be... nice indeed, yeah. Can you see? Yeah, Should it does look very very nice. Should we continue our walk? We will continue our walk down the Cato Paphos promenade the right way. Because there's a wrong way and there's a right way. And what we mean by that is at night time, predominantly, the majority of the people walk the right way. And the right way is from where the hotel coastal pathway joins the promenade area just up there. And then they walk all the way down past Grisivia La Booth past all the shops and all the restaurants down into the harbour area because obviously the harbour area is a crescendo and the focal point as to where most people are going to go and have a wander around perhaps not eat and drink but they're going to go to the farthest point gather their thoughts and then come back on their way and find somewhere to have something to eat and something to drink and there's plenty of choice because just over there you've got the wooden pub very very popular with Locals and foreigners and tourists alike. Next to that, you've got a little diamond shop. Then you've got more for less. We won't go over there. And then you've got have a look. And again, we won't go over there. Because if we do, well, we'll be there for hours. Now, the last one in this parade of shops is the Azure, which means obviously blue in Spanish. So that's the Blue Cafe. And if you come there before 11 in the morning, not only do you get a great, great coffee for about €2.50, but you also get a great big 
croissant. It's very, very tasty indeed. Can we see the other bit? Croissant. Croissant. Croissant is good as a, in the morning. It is, in the morning. Not Before a, 11 o'clock, it's free with your coffee. Yes. Yeah, yes. that's what it is. So. And, and uh, in somebody's hotel, under the bed, to eat the croissant. <laughs> yes, it is too. Uh, it reminds us of a video a long, 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 long time ago, and it was from Mr. and Mrs. Ford, and they asked us if we would go and have a little sneaky looky around the, of the Fighton, Lewis Fighton Beach Hotel, which is the yes. furthest hotel along the coastal pathway. And we remember walking into there, uh, a little bit cheeky really, into the main kitchen dining area, and lo and behold, there was croissants. And if you go hunting with that video, I think it's hilarious where we have a deliberation of should we steal a croissant, and we do, and it was unbelievably tasty. But as usual, I'm too busy talking, so about five minutes later, Miss Ochin received your booth, stole the last half, and ate it as I was mesmerized by a sunbather who was nude. Anyway, let's go see the other booth. She's looking for croissants. Excellent. You're like a Bond girl. You're like a Bond girl. Ahoy. Ahoy. My heart. Ahoy, Malinki, or Baoshai. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, right. That's a little joke in Russian. I'm sure you can go and find out how to Google it, translate it, and maybe you'll get the gist of it. Anyway, just out there diving. That's the CY Dive Boys. That's who they actually are. And this is where they come to do their novice training. So you've got CY Dive straight down the back there. You've got the Captain's Bistro Diner and you've got the Kifsoft, however you say it, opticians. But anyway, that gap down there, 30, 40 metres and you come to the huge, huge swimming pool area, complex area of CY Dive. And this is where they take their novices into train and that's what's going on there. Again, very, very professional. It's not very deep. Where are they going to dive? Well, they're, they're learning how to use the equipment and learning how to use the snorkels, the pressurization before they then go in the boat and go out long ago, shall we say. Right. Okay, so that's where they teach yeah. the procedures that they want you to follow. The instructions. Instructing you, yeah, yeah, that's what they're doing. And then they take you out on their boat, which is parked in the harbour, just behind my boat, which of course you now know is not my boat, because if you watched the previous video, two young ladies absolute superstars beyond belief the little girl came up to me and said that's not your boat that's my father's boat and then we met them off camera afterwards wow two girls that are wow, unbelievable fluent in four or five languages english and we laughed and we joked and it was great great fun it would be very funny for me if, if you said to them but i am your father <laughs> <laughs> well they perhaps wouldn't have liked that anyway. And they're, yeah. they're a great mother. The mum was Lucy and she was a superstar as well. But that's not my boat, unfortunately. But as I said to the young lady, if, it, what, if I had a choice of all the boats in the world, and I mean that, that's the boat I would choose. I don't want a smaller boat and I don't want a boat any bigger. That's probably a couple of million. So I'd like to know what the, their father does and hopefully he could teach me and then maybe one day I could have that boat. Anyway, here we come. Look at that. Look at that view across those waters there. There's the big boat, that's the big boy in the arsenal, that's the Ocean Vision, PaphosSeaCruises.com. You've got quite a few boats, Jolly Roger over there, you've got the Sea Star, which is available for small wedding parties, that sort of thing. And again, we're back to our Gumbaru's. He's talking to his accountant on the phone. There he is. <laughs> that's Mr. Constantinos. And just so you understand what he does, he puts your name on a grain of rice, and you choose the colour of the sand, the bile, that sort of thing totally unique to you and then it goes on a pendant or a bracelet you cross his hand or the beautiful Katarina's hand with a bit of silver and write your name down 10 minutes come back and you'll get it and he's a star thanks John Sinus he really really is a star on his phone to his mum I think in uh, one of the islands off Greece I can't remember which island it was but that's where they are and just over here we have everyone's on their phone today that's for sure that's Miss Jenny so they're all phoning away, phoning away. What have you seen, Christina? What have you seen? Mr. Hector, he's still sleeping. He's sleeping. No, he's not sleeping. So what, what Mr. Hector does is he pays the local municipality 600 euros a month to have his pitch. And then what he does is sleeps. There he is. No, there we go. He's a star. He's one of the greatest artists on the Cater Paphos promenade, well, that's for sure. And he does all sorts of, from caricatures to portraits. 
So the carriage tour obviously takes about 10 to 15 minutes and that costs you 20 euros. There's some of his work. Have a look at that. Even Rowan Atkinson has been here. And he also does portraits. And I've actually witnessed the gentleman doing portraits. And uh, he was doing a carriage tour the night of a young lady called Lily. But I've actually seen him do a portrait over three or four sittings, over three or four days, for a young lady called Beatrice, if I remember rightly. And it was a great, great portrait indeed. And he's a really nice guy. There he is. Having a little chat in Russian. Yeah, chatting, yes. Yeah, yes. chatting away. There we go. Right. Thank you, Mr. Hector. I'll have that T-shirt on the way back. Thank you. Thank you very much. I like that T-shirt. It's very, very blue with a nice little logo on it. So I fancy that T-shirt, that's for sure. Stick with us as we head down Cato Papos Promenade the right way. There we go. Now, the last little unit on the promenade before we head into the harbour area is what's called the wood kiosk. So basically, it's a contraption that's cladded in wood and then... It's become known as the wood kiosk, and it is a very, very good kiosk indeed. It sells all sorts of chocolates, cigarettes, cans of this, cans of that. Unfortunately, it doesn't sell cans of Coke, which is a bit of a silly idea. Let's follow Crescivia Labouche rear end as we go through. Look at that. Now, that's a view to die for. Oh, my God, what a silly idea that was. There we are. Crescivia Labouche has yet again found a hat. That colour doesn't quite go with the outfit. It's slightly off. There we go. I'm a very clever man, and just saved himself 20 years. Don't think, don't think that I trust you all the time. <laughs> right. As you can see, it's a kiosk that sells, well, pretty much anything you can think of from little batteries. It even sells foldable step ladders. I don't think that's for sale, that's the event. Anyway, let's follow the little booth. I found something oh, she found to my outfit. There we go. Not, of course, but, um, let's have a look. A very nice. What's on the top of it? Mickey there Martin. we go. No, Bugs Bunny. That's Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny. I've got yeah. one. Yeah. So let's Me continue. <gasps> oh my God! Why will I come into the shop? Why did I come into the shop? There's a little kitten down in the bottom there. There's a sleeping little kitten. Sit the seat. Our our sit the seat. You know, Mr. Pope yeah. will tell you sit the seat. We have a little kitten that we say. Well, we didn't say if he walked up and said, "Hey, how are you? You look as though you got a couple of bob. Can we come and live with you?" So there you go. That's another story. It's happened yeah. over and over and over to us in Cyprus. These cats know who are going to look after them and who are not. Cute. There we go. Isn't Very nice cute? indeed. Excellent. <laughs> right. Come on, you're going to see the My idea was to give you a bit of content as we walk through. But I realise walking through a shop that sells things is a silly, silly, silly idea. But let's just show you some of the last few things. There's some purses and wallets. Those have caught my eye. They're quite nice. There's some big clothing pegs at the bottom. And there's some useful practical things called fans. What Look at that. Fans? fans. There we go. So if the lady's feeling a little bit hot or starting to perspire, get her a fan and she'll thank you for... Well, five to ten minutes that's for sure and they're only a couple of euros a pop right stick with us as we continue on our trek down the Cato Patfos promenade and we'll see what other Dumbaru's there are on our travels because we've not walked it in the daytime for quite a long time because it's too damn hot so the Gumbaru's chains now those guys over there look very British oh there we are you're right Ah, hello, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good. What's your name? Lloyd. Lloyd, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. And these are the two hey, little Gumbaru's. Hello. What's your name? Joshua. 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 Uh, Seb. Seb. Yes. You're right, you're a man. You did his name. It starts. Reach. We did, yes. Wow. Yes. As soon as you said, I recognise your face. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you having a good time? Brilliant. Excellent. Week one. We get accosted everywhere we go. Week one. Yeah. You're here another week? Yes. One night, we'll catch you. Yeah. And we'll have a drink somewhere. Oh, right, yes. young man? Yeah, that'd be lovely. You are a star. I like that hat. I had a hat just like that, and I lost it, and now I know where it is. <laughs> That's it. That's Thanks very much. See you, young man. See you. See you. Absolute stars. We did a video, especially for them at the hotel, Imperial Beach. Yeah. It's about three or four months ago now, yeah. and uh, he's a really, really nice guy in the comments if you go hunting for him, and he's ever so polite, polite, polite indeed, and I had to beg the names of his, his wife and his children to make that video special and well they appreciated it because they recognize this and that's all it's about it's a bit hot this time of day they're heading back to the hotel and we want to finish anyway so we will meet them one night again now there's a guy we've not seen for a while 
his name is Mr. Costa. He's a great, great artist, and he does a character draw in about five minutes. And you pay him about 20 euros, and you get something very, very special. He's always eating ice cream or frappe, and he's a nice guy. He's always got a great smile. Often, we are unable to talk to him because there is a musician along here who's a great, great musician. But the problem is, YouTube believes that he is dire straits, which is a slight problem for us. Now, there's the next guy. He specializes in Mediterranean sponges, yes, yes. Uh, all sorts of different sizes. So we've got these bigger ones, these rougher ones, as you can see there. These are slightly softer. And then you've got these small ones. And what you do is you dip it in that water. For the fish. For the fish, yeah, for the fish. And you give it a squeeze out, and then when you dab it on your forehead or on the back of your neck, wow, wonderful. And then you can squeeze it out a bit, put it in your pocket, and then it's there for at least another half hour to an hour wet because it's a natural sea sponge. Whenever you're hot, chunk, chunk, chunk. And it opens the pores, yeah, it opens yeah. the pores. That's what it does, and it allows the sweat to get out, and it allows you to breathe, and it instantly cools you down and chills you. Very cheap. Three or four euros, 15 euros, 15 euros, and a nice guy indeed. Faristo, Pulley. He really is a nice guy. Really, really is. Now, hairiest man in Paphos. There he is. He's very, very hairy indeed. <laughs> He's always doing something. He's known as the hairiest man in Paphos. You right, Mr. Yanis? Yes, I'm okay. He's very busy. He's all right. He's a good Leave guy. Leave him to do his job. Where are you from? Uh, England. England. Whereabouts? York. York. I like York. It's like Chester. That's where I'm from. What's your name? <laughs> Sophie. Sophie, and you're a good man? Josh. Josh. So Mr. I, I would trust him, he's a good guy. Oh, I've known him for eight so years, Mr. he's George. all right. Oh, good. Tomorrow you <laughs> leave at hotel, Queen's Bay Hotel, yes? You go in 10.30 to 1.30. You are two person, you pay me 20 euro no. deposit, you pay 50 euro in the morning, the driver. Your name is George, your phone number is 4477139. 62021. Yeah. It's there we go. You have a yeah. great trip. It's, it's a good so trip, Pastor. Thanks very much. Thank much. Absolute stars. There's Mr. Yanis. I wanted to watch him in action so you know exactly what he says to you. What he's doing is written down the information you've given him, and then he's reading that back to the people to make sure it's right. They're going to receive a phone call in the morning to confirm that they are fitted well, and then one of the Jeeps is going to come and get them, collect them, and take them on their voyage. That's the truth. And you know, the man called me, the man I saw it, yeah. sponges, I saw it. and he presented me the little yeah. sponge for the different different uh, places of the... We just want to go yeah. over here and thank Mr. Mackis because our dinner in a previous video was courtesy of Hello. him. The lunch was wonderful, Mr. Mackis, you alright? We enjoyed our lunch, we enjoyed our lunch. Thank it was absolutely nice. fantastic. Thank you, thank you. And the lava cake, lava cake. wow, nice, it was yeah? wonderful. Are you going to work now? Yes. Yeah, we'll see you in a minute. He's an absolute star. He is one of the managers at the King's Restaurant and he's invited us for weeks to go there to eat. So today we decided to take them up on their offer. We didn't expect that uh, it was going to be for free, but guess what? It was and the food was very, very good indeed. And I haven't finished. Uh, it was so sweet when he called me and he, he said, which one do you want? And, I, you know, I said, the, the, because I had before uh, from another... From Mr. Chris. From Mr. Chris. And I said, okay, this one, thank you. Bless him. Yeah. Yeah, the guy, the elder gentleman over there, uh, the first time we featured him, you can see he's a bit, oh, what's going on here? But slowly but surely, either he's asked around or he's come to understand. But all we're trying to do is help street traders. And we know from the comments that we are, and we know from what they say that we are. And we don't want any thanks or gratitude or anything. But if you give us a little sponge, thank you very much. Absolutely. Yeah, of course, you can't refuse. In Cyprus, whatever uh, is given to you, you you shouldn't refuse even if you have plenty of whatever it is uh, because it's uh, they feel like it's unrespect yeah they take it as a yeah, huge yes, insult they yeah, take it good. as a huge insult yeah. so take it say thank you and what can be better yeah i mean bless them yeah, yeah. it's true it's often traditional when you go for an evening meal or lunch or breakfast that they'll offer you a free drink a brandy or a brand, you know wine whatever it is of your choice and some people do refuse it but to be honest you shouldn't whether you want it or not please don't refuse it take it give it to the next table or whatever because they take it as a great offense if you say no it's tradition shall we say there's Grisivi Alabouf dancing around with the beautiful beautiful blue blue Mediterranean sea and the sky in the rear absolutely spectacular now there's one last great hero on this trek before we get to our next one of course and it's 
the super jumbo glass bottom boat two and a half hours of pure action-packed fun glass bottom boat so you get to watch the marine life the shipwrecks and that's what you're going to be looking through the glass bottom and these are some of the things you get to see turtles and the shipwreck that's for sure then you get to see that lunch served to you by Captain Hassan and his Gumbaro Hassan. And that's one of the seating areas. And that's a young lady showering after she has been down the slide into the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. 25 euros a pop for an adult. That includes your lunch. 10 euros for a child. If you're less than two, it's free. And they also run the same trip on a, should we say, scaled back version. And that's only 15 euros and 5 euros, and that runs for 90 minutes. And you don't get to eat, but you can buy a soft drink on your travels if you wish. There's a fisherman. This is Philates's Gumbaro, and they're hunting for their fish supper. And there is Mr. Philates. There he is. You have, to, you have to check. We don't see the tongue. We're not sure if it's Big Phil, but that is Big Phil. Be Excellent. careful, guys, over there for the harbor for the pirate people. <laughs> you have many, many snakes over there to the harbor. <laughs> Which Believe snake? me. Yeah. Two yeah. hand, two arms he's two he's hand. warning you that there are certain, should we say, promoters of certain things in the harbor yes. that are snakes. Those are the ones that we stay away from, so you will not hear us mention their names. But there's a lot of good guys as well. There's always good and there's bad everywhere. Now, Ocean Vision has come back in from its daily voyage and we can see there's a crew over there removing chairs and it's having the big clean down because it's been out about six times this week. So it's now due a good clean and a good lick and a good polish. All ready to start up again on Tuesday. There she is. There we are. Right. Thanks, Mr. Phil. We don't understand a word they're saying because they're talking in that funny language called Greek. Anyway, Ocean Flyer, that's the next one on our trek. There we go. So this is being promoted by a man called Tom, as we can see. There we are. Can have a quick read on that and it gives you all the details there on the board. So it's a VIP full day adults only. So that won't be allowing me or Gracievi Labouf on it. Less passengers, all inclusive, coffee, lunch, open bar. Goes on a Sunday or Wednesday and a Friday from 11 until 4. And on a Monday, you get to go and have a walk around it. And visitors, Coral Bay, St. George, Lara Bay, CK, Zacamas, only here. Go and ask for Tom. That must be Mr. Tom over there. And there's his number. He's a bit shy, but as time goes on, he'll get used to us. And hopefully he'll come and say hello. Now, this guy's not shy. Look at that. What a smile. That's oh, Mr. Yeah. Trent again. You okay? Yeah, not too bad. You all right? Sad, busy? Been really busy to be fair since yeah, the boat good. come back in. That's good, yeah, it creates yeah. a bit of noise. That's it, yeah. Uh, I was sitting having a lunch. I was having lunch over there thinking, what's all this noise? And then the next thing, in comes the Jolly Roger. That's it. And Matthew Edmonds is screaming at the top of his voice. Well, I'm going to get around to his house and tell him to shut up. Yes. First day. First minute. Yep. First minute. This I don't is, know how much I'm going to get. This is Mr. Trent, by the way. Yeah. 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 He's a nice guy. This is Marika. Marika. Yeah, there we go. I wouldn't mind to work here. I no? know that uh, people but, would... But most days you don't get, get to get the time. umbrella. I mean, yeah? yeah? You yes. turn noise? Yes, yes. <laughs> if you're wondering, Trent, who we are, there you go. No problem. I'll follow you, don't, you later. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to subscribe. Oh, I, want, I want to see where this footage is going. Right, so there we are. But this is some of the stuff. We feature them over and over and over. As you understand, we know Tom, or Major Tom as I call him, as if he's our oldest, oldest Gumbaro. And it's the biggest Pathos cruising ships in the whole of Paphos area that's for sure and it's called paphosseacruises.com there it is they've got various contact details but if you come down to Paphos harbour area you're going to find some of them around and it would appear that the new front of house is Mr Trent come speak to me come say hello yeah, he's a nice guy that I notice and I have to say you know that I always say what I think I like this, right? Or real? No, they're real. Yeah, they're real. He's a good looking lad. I'm collapsing. I'm collapsing. How can it, how can it be possible? He's Why a good looking boy. Not? He's got nice Wait, eyes and he's got a great no, no, no. smile. I'm that's for sure. Just about eyelashes. We right, just for the eyelashes. You know, we, we love it. And if you film him, by the way, 
Right, like let's get the eyelashes. Right. There you go, ladies. I was there you looking, go. I was look at those at eyelashes. Look at, look at, at those color. eyelashes. Look at real, look at real. There we go. Appearing soon in a L'Oreal advert. That's for sure. We'll swap. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. But he's a nice guy. So Trent is his name. Very unusual name and a great name. So when you're coming into the Cape of Papos Harbour, there he is. And he'd be smiling, beckoning at you. In the background is the Ocean Vision, which is the big, big, big boy in their arsenal. They've got some smaller boats and they've got some pedal boats probably as well. Thanks, Mr. Trent. Now, back into the restaurant area. Very strange time of day. It's very quiet. It's too damn hot. But there's the man we just thanked for our lunch. That is Mr. Mackis, and he's a star, and he's always got a smile on his face. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want hairiest man in Papos is up to something. There you go. There you go. That's it. That's theft. Wait, Clefty, come back here. That's theft. I know what it's for. I know. I know. It's too damn hot. It's absolutely boiling. So they've been given permission by the local council to put umbrellas up because it's, they're not allowed to. But as you've noticed, they're all under umbrellas because the council have told them that it was too damn hot. There we go. There I'm going to chat. Thanks, Mr. Marcus. Thank you very much. Next restaurant is Theo's restaurant. There it is. Again, at this time of day, not much about because it's that time of day. There's Mr. Stefan over there. He's waiting to drag you in. Got a great, great smile. And he is an absolute super, superhero. Thank you, Mr. Stefan. He's our new Gumbaru on the block. So as time goes on, you're going to get to meet him and understand him. And he's a nice, nice guy. Next restaurant. There it is, Pelican. Most famous restaurant and the most busy restaurant in the whole of the Cato Paphos area, that's for sure. There's their rear of house. So they're waiting for a busy, busy, busy night indeed. Now, the next restaurant has no need for an introduction. We can just show it to you. There it is. The Gelalamo Bistro. There's the training manager in the background, Mr. Emmanuel. Absolute star. And there's their logo, the Gelalamo Cafeteria. And as usual, pretty busy. There's the hero in the background, Mr. Marios. You're right. An absolute star. Those are my words. Those are my words. Welcome back. They're my words. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Marius. He's an absolute star. The next one, there it is. Castle. There's their logo. Sell at the castle. It's a kitchen and a bar. It's great, great food. And it's more famous than anything else because it's got its very old fat man. That's his life to be called. Fat six pack Andy, all of his new name is given him to himself. That bastard. Good to see you, Yellow Boo. I think uh, now I start melting, by the way. It's, it's starting, it's now, starting. Yeah. yeah, it's starting, it's starting. Now, the last little place along here, it's called Stevie's. And that's their logo. So they're the last one along. And there is their, well, front of house to the harbour area. And there's one of the Gumbaris smiling over there. There's another one over there. There's another one. And our great, great friend, Mr. Henry, ooh, 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 la, 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 will be out here at about six o'clock tonight so in a couple of hours and he's here all night the guy with the white hat and he he and himself is a superstar among superstars his personality can fill that bar like that anyway we're into the Cato Papos harbour and it's tradition goes it starts off with my boat there it is that's my boat we can see that the side door is open so that means that captain lucy and her daughters are aboard so unfortunately, the game is up. It's not my boat. But if ever I can have a boat, well, that's the boat that I want. It's almost as beautiful as the other princess in my life, which is Ochin Gracilia Labouf. Do they have, by the way, the captain or they, uh, she rides, drives it? Well, according Next to the young ladies... we're gonna find out because we, we were are. called. We just didn't want to bother the lovely lady. Yeah. I uh, I would like to thank you for our uh, for the company with us for uh, joining us for the time that you watch us and thank you very much again and again for the uh, support you give us we will never forget your goodness and you'll always be in our hearts we kissing you from the bottom of our two hearts Min and Mr. Paul you take care loving you to bits and see you in another of our madnesses. All that's left for me to say is thanks for watching and if you do like what you see, please hit the like, click subscribe, come back for a little bit more of our madness. One last thing to say, oh so, 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 sweet Caroline, good luck tomorrow. Thanks for watching.
Look at that. You can see the Alaboose rear end. Absolutely beautiful.